Hi, everybody. I am Araceli Aviles here at, from Dish in Days. We are live at Day of Days 2022, and I am here with the lovely Lindsay Godfrey and the very handsome Paul Telfer, aka the best, most, the funniest duo in town, Aww. Sarah and Xander. Hey, guys. Happy newlyweds who have the distinction of being the last soap wedding on NBC. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was really excited because recently I found out that not only were we like the, was I part of the last day's wedding on NBC, I was also the first person to use a very specific word once we shifted to the peacock. So I feel really, but I'm not going to say what that <laughs> word is. You have to watch it on peacock. But it's a naughty word. And, and so very happy about that. A couple, a couple of firsts. And a last and a first. And I am personally going to give a shout out to Wardrobe right now because when they uh, your first wedding got canceled, but you already no sorry for our first wedding, second wedding got canceled, and then you ha but you were already dressed to the nines and ready to go. I remember specifically saying, "Do not change their wardrobe, <laughs> not one shred. I don't want to see a different kilt. I don't want to yeah. see anything. Nothing." We were the same. We were like yeah. when when we finally get to do it when it's because we. We never know what's going to happen, but it felt like they were, they must let us get married at some point. And if they do, I really hope, because we'd had the whole fantasy thing, yeah. you know, before you were taken away. And I remember, you know, as, as difficult as a lot of that was at the time to shoot, it looked really lovely, like, it and it played lovely. And so to, to get a chance to, like, do it for real and have it be sweet and lovely, I was, I was really proud of the... Yeah. I, fin I finally watched it recently, like, the wedding scene, and so much of it is just us looking at each other it's and so just sweet. being like... Because it's all been said before, and the fans have heard it all before, and they know the journey, and it was just lovely. Yeah. And, like, for, just for us as well to be like, ah, we finally got to the end of one. We did it! Because <laughs> like, as actors, you know, you're playing the emotions, and you do feel them. But sometimes it's you want the full catharsis, even as yourself, like to to finish the story, like that bit of the story. So to finally like complete a wedding was yeah. really lovely. Yeah, it <laughs> was considered one of the more meant to be couples on the show. Could you imagine that when you two first met? Not at I need all. To because it was one of those things of like, you know, my character is so obnoxious and like just so um, just incessant in his behaviour. That it just felt like I, I could only really be used um, to as angst for other couples, and so the way they just broke him down, 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 um, to being this like lovely, supportive guy just for you, horrible to everyone else, yeah. but just for Sarah, he he could be selfless, really helped. I think not just for the audience, but for me to be like, okay, maybe it is possible that he can have a romance, and so that's why to me the the work with Sarah, um, the, sorry, the work with Lindsay and the scenes with Sarah are always so special because that's San obviously Xander's a grown man but it's the first love you saw him have on screen and so it almost has this kind of like cute like juvenile quality to it his love for Sarah whereas when, when he's with Gwen it's got a different vibe you know what I mean obviously him and Ar him and Nicole are a very different thing but like this is has this purity to it that you don't see from him otherwise and it's so for me it's like I love it too <laughs> <laughs> So uh, this is the first time that we get to be in person in quite a while, but you guys did have a taste of it at our Spectrum Celebrity events a few months past. Yeah, it's like a nice little warm up. Yeah, how does it feel to be back amongst like this like huge amount of fans and like what do you think is? Do you feel like a difference post COVID? Yeah, I think you know we we've answered this like a few times, and yeah. I just like just meaning that in the sense that like. We love being able to answer this question because yeah. we love this. This one feels so different. It's it's weirdly more intimate. It's less like dun 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 dun, 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 dun. Like we get to chat with the fans. We get to chat with you in person. We get to be here with you. We get to answer that question. It's my favorite question to answer because I'm like the answer is yes. Yeah. Like we love being here. It's been we pent love up like, for years at this point. Yeah. Like, and we've done virtual stuff and we've done this and that, but. To really just see everybody and be reminded that you know the show is beloved, the fans' energy and um, just faith in the show is is un, unwavering. Yeah. And you know it's easy for us do, doing what we do, moving as fast as we do when we make the show, to forget that there's this loving audience on the other side of the lens. And so to be able to be around them and, and reciprocate and feel. The love and give it back and learn your names and just you know all of it it just 
it's the thing that I never expected about this job that I would enjoy, but it's the most important part of it because it fills your batteries up to go back and do more, you know? Um, yeah. yeah. It's lovely seeing everybody. It really is. Please, really get, is. next year, if you didn't come this year, come next Please, year. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. yeah. Now that Xander and Sarah are officially married, thank God, we put that to bed. Okay, it's done. <laughs> it's done. Hopefully it won't be undone anytime soon because, you know, things happen. You know how things go. Uh, yeah. Um, well, how do you see their trajectory going forward? Are they more focused on building themselves up as a couple or, but they've been through a lot individually, yeah. so are they more, or are they focused on building themselves up as individuals? I think it's like, you know, so much of it is just, they just want time. Do you know what I mean? They just want to like, be together yeah. because they've been ripped away from each other in so many different ways and then even once you returned you weren't you and then you were you but yeah. you were a baby you and just <laughs> all the things that happen yeah. and so I think that you know short of like going on vacation which we shouldn't do because then we're off the show uh, we need to find things to do in Salem short of, of doing that I, I just feel like in real life Sarah and Xander would just want to lock the door stay in bed all day and catch up on their stories and yeah. just veg um but you know that doesn't make compelling television so instead we get into a bunch of capers yeah <laughs> like, i think like sarah definitely is just kind of because she's doing better is definitely like i want to get back to life i want to get back to being to working and feeling like myself again and back into my own routine so i think the wedding really kind of helps cement that for her and but yeah, I think they would very much just like to be happy. Just, and also, like, if they're just cuddling in a in a room somewhere, it, Dan, Xander doesn't have the opportunity to go out and mess it all up. Right. Like, you know, is this nature? So. And, and Sarah maybe is just Sarah instead right. of somebody wearing a Sarah mask. mask yeah, for once. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be lovely. <laughs> and as I said, you did win our Personal Edition Days Award this year for Best Couple. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what are you going to do next year to uh, so cement up the your stage? status? Well, well yeah. I mean, you know, ob obviously there. there's, there's there's some options there. There might be uh, maybe the family grows a little bit or maybe, uh, you know, there's there's all kinds of threesomes going on in Salem these days. Maybe we could bring somebody else in, get a little thruple action going. Yeah. I mean, there's options. There's all kinds of things. I always imagined do. Gwen would be a part of our thruple you know, just because like, it makes sense. Just make everybody happy. And just I'm, keep everybody rolling. Plus, who doesn't love Emily Yeah, Ryan like, Emily's the sweetest. Crying out loud. We love Emily. <laughs> Edition days, we also love to play games, so we're gonna play a little game with you. We were hoping we'd get a game, we were yeah, we just... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Now this is you, uh, just you two, as as actors, as each other. Um, mo we're gonna play most likely two. Ooh. All right. This is exactly what we wanted. Yes. All right. Most likely two. Play a prank on set. I think. Oh, do you mean out of the two of us? Oh. Yes. I think you're it's more. Me. Oh, yeah, you're the prank. <laughs> star. You're much more likely to just generally um, be silly. Yeah, be, be, be silly. I'm, I'm, I'm always goody two shoes, just trying to come on, guys. We've got to, got to make the show. <laughs> Most likely to break from laughing. Yeah, it's me, especially with Linz. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I try and get all my breaking out in like our little blocking rehearsal or whatever, or in, in the rehearsal we get. Like, I'll usually try and just. But then you you surprise me. Change it slightly, just so that to throw in with you and <laughs> Stacy. Stacy's always just well, Stacey is alive when you're working with her. So you don't even think you know what she's gonna do. That's not what she's gonna do. Um, so yeah, and John, John Aniston, like really, um, he's the. He, I find it. So many scenes, like or, like you just you'll just see me like, <laughs> just trying to like not break because he's so dry. Whereas most of other, we're, we're funny, but we're like loud and funny. Yeah, yeah. Whereas John will just slice yeah, through, and, and, he, and he can just be sitting there yeah. and just like, oh, <laughs> it'll get a solid cackle out of me. Like, <laughs> so yeah, I'm 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 the weakling that will yeah, break. Yeah. No break. <laughs> All right, last one. Most likely to get hangry. Oh, that's both of us, but it's extra me. <laughs> I mean, that's that's all well, actors yeah, all the I definitely get it, but like, yeah, you get you need like a full Flintstone you size might, you might of me. I spend a lot of time with my shirt off on the show, so very often that's like sprung on me. Yes. And in the build up to those days, I just don't eat, um, or I, or I do eat, but I'm also like running extra miles or lifting or doing whatever. So I do get very hungry. And on, you know, if I'm full of coffee but not full of like donuts as well, I'm not. I can be a bit of a grump, but 
you, you, you know. Oh, I definitely you, you get angry. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a bad balance if you don't get it right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I am Araceli Aviles from Dish and Days. Thank you so much, Paul and Lindsay, for coming today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And you can catch us on Dish and Days uh, on uh, all our social media platforms. And you can watch them every day on Peacock. All right. Bye, everybody.